Hello, Bridge Deer here, back with another video. Today I am doing a speed draw of my Animal Crossings character, uh, New Horizons. I have New Leaf, I just haven't picked it up in a while. Maybe I will do another quick drawing of my character in that because the two characters actually look fairly di different. I think my character in New Leaf has pink hair. Sorry if you could hear that truck driving behind me. It just it seems like every time I try to record, all the noisiest vehicles decide to drive past my house. And you would think I lived on an extremely busy road. I don't. I don't. People in my town are just extremely loud and redneck and everybody has a truck with a messed up muffler on it. So there's that. <laughs> So, yeah, I say so a lot, I realize, I apologize for that, I'm trying to do better. But anyway, I just wanted a really simple video for this week. Um, just because the day I'm recording this, I have to go into the hospital. Uh, it's nothing that, um, it's not that big of a deal, I just have to do a sleep study test where I have to be there overnight and into the next day. So I literally have to be there at like 10 o'clock at night today and then be there until 5 o'clock p.m. tomorrow so yeah it's a mess I'm pretty nervous about that even though it's mostly just me sleeping the entire time and sitting around but whatever it's super um anxiety inducing to me so yeah just gonna keep it simple uh by the time this video comes out it wouldn't really matter though because like I've already have done it because again I film a week in advance so by the time this video is up, I might even have the results of my test. I really doubt it, just because a lot of my test results have been delayed recently due to the whole pandemic thing going on, which I think everyone's stuff has been delayed. It's too bad that's happening right now, but whatever, you can't really change that much at all. Though, I wish I could, but I can't. Moving on from that plot point, essentially. Uh, yeah, so I think most of Friday I'm just going to be sitting around playing Sims and uh, New, was it New Horizons? I almost said New Leaf. I guess I can play New Leaf too. I just have to charge my DS. But I'll be playing New Horizons. Uh, got kind of addicted to the game again. I'm usually always a latecomer to these games, so I think this is the quickest I've ever bought a game, and it still was re relevant. Like, I didn't buy New Leaf or even have a DS until I was 23, I think. So, yeah, a little late to the party. And for context, that was like two years ago. I remember being really, really upset, actually, though, because right when I bought my DS, they were soon discontinued. Like, literally six months after I bought my DS and New Leaf, the DS was discontinued, and then New Horizons was announced very soon after that. So I was just like, oh, I just spent all of this money on an irrelevant game system. That was great. But I should have known that was coming. I really should have. Not that I didn't enjoy the DS. It was actually the 3DS, so I need to make that clear, I guess. I don't know why I do, but apparently my brain is making me have to say it. But I did play New Leaf pretty solidly for a good six or seven months before I finally put it down and moved on to other games. But I think I'm doing the same thing with New Horizons, though I feel like the game's designed to do exactly that, make you addicted for a good solid like year almost, and then you put it down for a little bit and then a few months later, you just pick it right back up and be like, oh, why did I ever stop playing this? I do the same thing with The Sims all the time, too. So, hence why those are the top two games I'm bringing to the hospital with me this, uh, I almost said this weekend. It's not the weekend. It, technically, it's Thursday right now. It's not even, not even close to the weekend. Welcome to my channel, where my brain constantly likes to take a giant crud halfway through all my videos. Every single one. There's always a section in which my brain's just like, you know what, yeet, you don't need me anymore. I'm just gonna take a vacation. I'm gonna get the days mixed up, the times mixed up. I'm also going to, you know, mush mouth you, all sorts of things. Don't mind me. If this is your first video you're running into me with, it's normal, it's completely normal. I'm not having a mini stroke or anything. It is 
I really don't know what it is. Partially, probably fatigue, and just partially that I'm really, really bad at talking, actually. I was labeled, like, chronically shy as a kid, even though my shyness was actually social anxiety. And, yeah, I didn't have a whole lot of friends, and I didn't talk to people very often. And when I did, I didn't know how to properly <laughs> have a conversation with somebody. So, usually my conversations were, like, two sentences before the other kid walked away from me really confused. So, yeah. It's actually why I didn't get a DS until I was an adult, too, because I came from a big family that didn't have a lot of money either, so I couldn't keep up with things that were, like, really relevant. <laughs> so I didn't have internet or TV until I was nearly 18 years old. Um, I actually didn't get a cell phone until my senior year in high school just because my parents couldn't afford to give me one because I had three younger siblings so if I got one they all had to get one at least that was their mentality in it all <laughs> same thing with video games so I wanted like when Game Boys were relevant <laughs> I really really wanted one but my parents used that logic to not get me one I guess I'm still a little salty about that as an adult but yeah, if I would have got one, they would have to get my siblings one, and we didn't have um, the money to get all four of us kids, anything like that. But also, we didn't have the money to get all four kids a Game Boy. And when the DS's came out, I just had to use my cousin's DS all the time. I didn't really have a friend who had one. No, I did have a friend who had one, but I wasn't allowed to um, use theirs in case... It got broken because it was pretty expensive, so yeah. So there's a glimpse into my poverty-stricken childhood. I know I'm laughing about it, but I really, it really wasn't a laughing matter as a kid. But anyway, moving on, I should probably actually make a comment about what's going on on screen, at least a little bit. I decided I was doing this in a different style, and I had no idea what that style was. <laughs> like, I see people do digital art without what looks to be any um like line work i don't know if that makes any sense but like i do all my line work in black and i don't know i just didn't want to try that except this was really frustrating to me because i kept losing my layers because normally i have a line work layer and then i have all the color layers underneath that but for this one, I kept losing my line work because it was the same color. I don't really know. I think I just wasn't paying attention. And I only glance at the layers on the side. And when it's in black, I can clearly see it's a line work layer. And when I kept glancing at it, it looked like it was just an empty layer. So I kept using it until it actually showed up as, oh, look, there's some solid color on it. And then I would make a new layer and I just got lost. So if you see me kind of going back over things and like trying to erase things that aren't erasing like right now, um, it's because I lost the layer. I don't know what I was doing. I was not going to sell shade, but then I started sell shading. I have no idea. I kind of wanted it to look like it was part of the game. Like, not sure if I did that all the way because I did added some, like. I don't know, I did add some things. I don't even remember if my character really had eyebrows. I did have a picture of it, and then I turned off my DS. Not my DS, my Switch. I turned off my Switch and just put it away when I got up to get a drink. and didn't feel like getting back up to go get it, because I'm lazy today. Also, the entire time I was drawing this, I was trying to be courteous of my neighbors, but also I was trying to drown out the fact that my upstairs neighbor have their, uh, I think it's their niece or their cousin, small child upstairs. So I've been trying to play music to cover up the loud banging thuds this kid is making on my ceiling and has been making these noises for the past two days? Like the past 48 hours, it's been nearly a constant like banging noise from upstairs. I'm trying to ignore it. But there's just some days. 
So if you hear any sounds of like banging in the background of my recording, I'm going to try to clean it up. It's kind of like the same thing with the car noises. I can't stop it because it's out of my power. Because, yeah, for some reason where I live has a noise issue. They always want to be making large amounts of noise, and I have no idea why. I think the only explanation for the noise that I got is it's a small town in America. Small town America. For some reason, that just makes them loud. I have no idea. Whatever, moving on. I think by the time I got to these shoes, I was like, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Um, technically this isn't even the outfit my character is currently wearing right now. My character is wearing this, like, steampunk black Lolita dress, but I just didn't feel like drawing that right now. <laughs> so this is actually an outfit she was wearing the other day, except I had, um, they're the flower, one of the pairs of flowery sunglasses. I just didn't draw them in this because... They weren't the same shade of red. I don't know, that was my logic. I just actually wanted to draw the eyes. I don't know. Decisions that I make and I try to put logical explanations to them. And I, there's no reason to do that. There's no reason to. It's art. There's no reason in art. And then I just did a very simple background and with a little like leaf logo because Tom Nook owns us all. Of course he does. I mean, I owe him a lot of money now. Actually, I think the only thing I actually owe money in is this video game, so that's great. <laughs> so we're coming to the end of the video, so I want to say everyone stay safe, stay as healthy as you can, play some Animal Crossing, do some art, do whatever you love doing, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!